All right, people, it looks like we have found our female, level 29. That's only one level less than maximum. And uh, I think I'm going to go get Petunia because I don't want to stay. I don't want Trike. And I'm going to see if I can lure it further away from all this icky stuff. Alright! Hello everybody and welcome back to ARK Survival Evolved. I'm Know It All DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great hanging out on my single player game. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope everybody enjoys what they see and if you do, don't forget, hit the like button. And if you're new and haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Alright, so... Last episode, we built this raft that I don't know exactly what I want to call it. I, I'm considering calling it the Ark, but that's the Ark. Like, we're in the Ark, but it's like a miniature Ark. So, I don't know. Um, I might call it something else, but uh, for now, it's just called Dino Transport because it can transport all my dinos. And uh, for its maiden voyage, I've gone ahead and gotten all my dinos in here. Um, for those of you who didn't watch the last episode where I built this thing, it's got a fully functional smithy. And it's got around here a fully functional living quarters. Living quarters, living space, all that stuff. Food, cookery. And so it's, uh, it's quite a nice little... Uh, little thing that I got going on here. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy the uh, little boat. And if you have a name for it, leave it in the comments down below. So today I'm going to head out. Uh, let's zoom out as far as we can. I'm going to head out for the uh, Southern Island. And uh, we're going to see if we can find ourselves a high-level Ankylo. Now, it's probably going to take me a while to do this. So, uh, I'm going to uh, just head out and uh, then I'll be back when I find what I'm looking for. So, here we go. Now, I've got the door shut because I need to be able to, or door open because I need to be able to see when I do that. Whoa, something just broke. What just broke? Oh no! What happened? Did, did Zillow get pushed through by something or? Because that actually had stuff in it. Zillow, what did you do? Okay, that was weird. Let's uh, get Zillow back on the raft. Don't tell me you can't get on here, Zillow. There you go. Okay, that's weird. Actually, no. What broke? Because... No, there wasn't anything here. Hold on a second. Um, I heard something break. Did you guys hear something break when, when Zillow went back through the wall? That was weird. Nothing in here broke. That's weird. Now I got to double check everything. What did, did my, no, cooking thing is still there. All this is still here. That was weird. All this stuff is still here. I don't know. Maybe nothing broke and maybe it just made that noise to inform me that she got shoved out of the raft for some reason. But in any case, come on, Dino Transport. Away!
Now, we want to stick mainly to the shallows for now until our plant species X gets uh, fully mature because what the plant species X around there are for. If you guys were uh, wondering, what, I'm, what, what they're there for is so that when I, when uh, the whales, the uh, lead sixties get too close, the plant species X will start firing upon them and will actually uh, will actually slow them down to the point where I can escape from them and uh, and they don't bother me. Now that won't really stop them if they come from straight below, but that's just a uh, a at least I don't think they will, but that's just something I'll have to worry about when the time comes. So let's come on into this little inlet here. All right. Now I'm gonna park this. Probably I want to go straight into here. Like so. And parked. Let's just go a little further. Like that should be perfect. There we go. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking Zillow out. And we're going to search around killing dinos until we find a 20th level or higher uh, ankylo. Because, you know, it's time for me to tame an ankylo. So I'm going to head out and do that. And I hope I'll find one. But uh, if I don't, you know, I'll be back whenever I'm back. So, all right, let's get to looking. And we're back. And uh, I found this level 21 on here. Um, I've gone around a few times with uh, my Therizinosaurus. And I uh, was doing a whole bunch of uh, killing, just killing everything, uh, double checking the levels of each Ankylo. And I found this guy here. It's a male Ankylo. Uh, let me double check, make sure you are on passive. All right, let's double check, make sure we're using Trank Darts, like so. And uh, hopefully we should be able to take this thing out in a few tranks. This is the first higher than level 20 that I found, but uh, it, it's been about an hour and a half. So let's go ahead and start off. I probably should have done that from a little further away. If I can lead it back this way... That would be great, but it looks like it's getting sleepy. You getting sleepy yet, guy? There we go. All right. Now, let's go ahead and throw the kibble on it. And I hope that other Anki hasn't gotten angry. It looks like we've just got this one right now so after we tame this one up let's see how long the kibble takes um i don't know if 10 will be enough or if that'll be too much but uh let's go ahead uh come on over here and uh we'll grab up some mejo berries to put on it so it doesn't start eating the kibble once it uh tames up because I don't want it to devour the kibble let's just get a whole bunch of other berries and throw on it as well okay so it's asleep it hasn't taken its first bite of kibble yet but we should see it munch in a little bit Once I see how it's uh, taming is going to do, I'm probably going to go grab some narcotics. 
uh, just to make sure that we can uh, feed this guy up and and uh, how long does it take? Does it take like 80 or 60 before it eats kibble? We're about to see if it's 60 and if it's not... Yep, it's probably going to be 80. Takes a little bit for it to eat kibble, but I'm wanting it to... I really want to see what how much taming one kibble is going to do on a wild male angulo. Level 21. <laughs> on a level 21 anky. Um... Now, our taming rates are still turned up, so it might be like half or a third, but I'm expecting it to be like a quarter to a fifth. Um, the taming rates, I've only got it on double taming rate. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, this isn't going to take long at all. This isn't going to take long at all. So it's going to be level 30 plus right out the gate. It'll be 30 to... 30 to 31 right out the gate. That's good. That's good. Um, like I said, next I'm hoping to find a high level female ankylo. But if I find a higher than level 21 male ankylo, I'll probably go ahead and tame it too. And we'll just assign them different stats. Um, especially if I find an ankylo that has like 200 to 300 oxygen. Because I am going to want one that has oxygen to go down into the shallower areas to get uh, oil. And I'll possibly, if I find one with a decent oxygen, throw it into the cave that's down there underwater and uh, put a bed and build some stuff under there so I can go back and check up on him occasionally. So it does look like it's probably gonna be 80 before it eats. We're at 40 now. I'm going to go ahead and take all but one kibble because that last kibble ought to do it. And uh, I would go ahead and uh, put it back in the base, back in the boat, but um, yeah, I, I'll, I'm going to go put it back in the boat and we'll probably have this thing tamed up when I get back. So. Um, I'll BRB as soon as I get back. And we're back and it looks like the Inky is up. Level 31. Nice. All right. Now, what should we call you? I don't know what we're going to name him. Let's go ahead and get you back to the base. And then I'm going to see if I need to throw... Hold on. I know there's the... If I look in your inventory, right? The ancestors. Now, I'm wondering if that will change. Like, the level there will change as the thing levels up. Um, for a note... Let's go ahead and write a note. I'm going to go... Uh... Male, 31. Uh, I don't know what else to put, but we'll just do that so I know what level it tamed out as. Okay. Um, I could write down its stats and everything, but I'm not too terribly worried about that. Um, hold on. What if I did this? Looking at this, did note. Okay. Can I move it aside? No. Cancel. Um, so I've got a blank note. All right. Let's try this again. So that's 1,400 health. Uh, let me do this. Okay screenshot open up paint and put it on my other window okay now okay 
male. Uh, it was a 21 to 31. Wild. Tame. It's got health. 1400.3 stamina 245 oxygen 180 food 4819.5 no point 0.9 weight 280 Melee, 238. Movement, 135. And I think they all came out with the same movement rate. I'm not 100% positive about that, but I'm almost positive. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and just do Torpor as well. Torpor, even though you can't increase it or anything. Okay, now... Let's go ahead and put this note in its inventory at the front. That way I can look at the note and see everything that it tamed out with. Okay, so wild, tame, and that's its tame health. So, okay, now we can go ahead and get you back to the boat uh, before we do. You are a level 12. You're not high enough. 20 plus, and you're male, so I don't need you anyway. Okay. Oh, there's another Enki. Please tell me you're not higher than 21. No, you're just eight. And you're male as well. Okay. That's right, just knock me back like this. Now you can just drop everything. All right. Well, if it's only going to take me another hour and a half to find another higher than level 20, I might as well just come on over here and uh, keep on looking for a female, although being picky about the gender now, I might, uh... If I'm picky about the gender, I might have to, uh... Might have to, uh, take a little bit longer, but... So we got our first high-level Anki for our, uh... Thing. Come on in here. And I've got an Anki saddle right here. Stop following and everything. You're you're doing too much. Alright. Now I still don't know what I want to name this guy. I'll probably end up naming them before I mate them, just because. Um, but let's go ahead and get you in this stall here. I should be able to just sit you just like that. And then I should be able to sit your mate right next to you. And then I can close it off and use this as a mating pin. But for now, you enjoy the trough food that I've got in here. Because I've got this trough over here that's full of berries. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's working out pretty well. Uh, repair that. Okay. Uh, a bront. The reason this is, some of this is damaged is a bronto that I was attacking. We got a little closer than I wanted to this. It hit it once with like a wide swipe, way far away, but it still did enough damage to damage the uh to damage the boat. So I'm going to keep on looking for a higher level Anki and hopefully I'll find one. 
All right, people, it looks like we have found our female, level 29. That's only one level less than maximum. And uh, I think I'm going to go get Petunia because I don't want to stay on my trike. And I'm going to see if I can lure it further away from all this icky stuff. Because uh, all these uh, Brontos and all that, I don't want to accidentally aggro something and uh have it kill me so which i might actually do to this bronto i'm gonna wait till the bronto turns around and goes the other direction before i let go of this charge <laughs> all right what we're gonna do we're gonna try to lead her this direction because i don't want to try to aggro those i don't want to accidentally aggro those other ankies so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop off right here. All right, and I'm gonna trank her from a distance. Now we got a good hit and she's gonna go in the water. I hope she can get back up onto the land. Let's see. Oh, please don't just be stuck in the water and get eaten by Megalodon. That would be horrible. Come here, Anki. Don't go in the water. Don't go. No, don't go in the water. All right, come back this way. Please don't be any Megalodons in the water. All right, come on over here. That's a good girl. As soon as you get on the land, I'll pop you with another one. And on the land, that's a good girl. I wonder how many darts it's gonna take to take her out. It only took like three or four. Oh, it looks like she's running. All right, let's see if we can pop her with another good one right here. And she's out. All right, there we go. Good girl. Come on over here, Petunia. You've got more berries on you. And I'm going to throw some berries on for extras. Do you have narcos? You do. Oh, you must have eaten all the others. Um, maybe you didn't have others on you. Okay. Let's see here then. Yeah, just give me all these. And... Oh, you can hold this Tyranodon egg we found. Okay, now we've got our female. Level 29. Ah, Inky is tamed. Okay, so let's do the same as we did at, with, ooh, level 43. Awesome. Go ahead and give me, oh, it only took two kibble for you too? Well, that means it's only going to take two kibble even if I found a, 30 for a perfect tame. Now this is almost a perfect tame. This is one level off from a perfect tame. Uh, level 44 would be a perfect tame. So let's go ahead and print screen, MS Paint, other window, paste so I can see your stats. And then crafting, note. All right, female, wild, 29 tame 43 uh health 1680.3 stamina 262.5 oxygen 210 food 
no wait six five five four point nine i was looking at the wrong number weight 275 melee 266 movement is 135 Four four is one four seven eight point nine. All right, accept and give you the note. All right, come on and follow me. I don't want you to get stuck on any of this stuff. You come on, make it through there. Or are you just being dumb? Come on. I guess we'll come this way. And I'll have to grab the saddle off of the other Anki because I can't really make one right now. Actually, I might be able to if I can get... Why are you all in the water, Bronto? All right, where'd the Anki go? Where are you? Why are you being dumb, Ankylosaurus? Come this way. Stop being dumb. It's just a straight shot to here. Come, straight. You're kind of dumb, aren't you? Now we're just going to go straight over to this place, straight this way. All right, you're going to keep coming straight or are you going to hit a tree and go, oh, I got to go somewhere else. All right, keep on coming. All right. That's good. Now we can just come on over here. Why are you climbing rocks? All right, let's go ahead and park you here. Let us take the saddle off you and I'm just gonna pump your weight just like I'm going to pump her weight as well. Okay. Come on, let's get in the uh, boat and let's head back to the base because I don't really need to stay out here as you know, now that I've got my two high level Angies, if I could find a level 25 or higher male, that would be optimum. Why are you back in my way, Petunia? Get out of my way. Um, if I could find a level 125 or higher male, like I said, that would be optimum. But I don't think I would be able to find one really easily. Uh, Cause it took me a while to find these two Can you both fit or are you? All right, I should be able to fit you both if I just go ahead and do this. And there we go. Now I'm going to now I'm going to be stuck, aren't I? Yep. That's fine. Over this side, I should be a little bit better. Nope. Okay, the Anki is actually moving as I move. If I do this, nope, I don't want to get off on that side, but I guess if I'm going to turn around this way, there we go. That'll be better. Actually, I'll just leave the saddle on you in case I need to move you around. So now we've got all these berries that they can eat. Uh, Petunia, come on, let's get you back into your side over here. If we get Petunia a mate, we can park him right here. 
Although I don't think Petunia, Petunia has not really expressed any interest in finding a mate yet. She likes hanging out with me. I think she likes me, but you know, she, she prefers to hang out with me than uh, creatures of her own kind. So this little trip was uh, interesting uh, and beneficial. Uh, let's see, you've burned yourself out, haven't you? All right, give me all that, which is fine. Uh, we'll throw these and that back in there. I've still got 25 kibble, so if we find a good ankylo or uh, dodicarus, we'll uh, have kibble to tame them up. But so this was empty when, well, no, this had the armor when we started. But as we were out there, I found a ramshackle stego saddle, a mammoth saddle, and this baller. 106% primitive sword. So it's 106.8% as opposed to just the base 100% that I've got here. So uh, 81 durability as opposed to 70. So it, it would do a lot better with me. Um, I'm just worried that if I started using it, uh, that I would be in the dungeon or something and, and die and it would and it would get lost or something to that effect. So. Uh, let's continue making up gunpowder because I like doing that. Uh, we also got a lot of resources. Uh, let's see, not those. What? Where, where did I put the rest of the stuff? I think. Oh, did I put them? No, we already had those. I don't know. We got some. Oh, well, <laughs> we got a bunch of dino eggs. These we all found on the ground. So, um, yeah decent place to hunt for random eggs but we got our two ankies and uh we got what we came here for uh i say that's a uh trip well executed um normally if you're looking for dinos you don't get them right away and you have to uh keep looking for things and trying to you know trying to find what you're looking for I uh, without knowing uh, let us go ahead while I'm here in the shallows okay now that I'm here oh I uh, it's too all right back here let's go ahead and do you I can wake you up and you'll attack wild dinos I'll wake Nope, it looks like I'm gonna have to swim or get up and and uh, do it from here. Okay, you turrets in range four of a hundred. Does that mean you can only have a hundred of these? Wake you up. I don't know what you're shooting at, but... Oh, you're shooting at the Stego. Well, that's not nice. Uh, let's get back here. And it killed the Stego. Okay. Let's come back here. And slowly down to here. Wake you up. And I believe that was the third one that I woke up there. And so we're going to have to... Where's my... There it is. There's the rudder. And that means you are going to also... Wake up. I don't know what they're shooting at, but uh, when I get back to the base, I'm going to have to make a lot of fertilizer to put in them. Their fertilizer should last a while, but uh, for now, we're just going to head out and uh, head back to base. What are they shooting at? Some sort of fish or something? I don't know. 
That's shooting at the Bronto now. I don't want to get in range of the Bronto's tail. Uh, I think the Bronto hit me once. But we're just going to leave them as they are. And, uh... Yeah, I can head back this direction now. Um, let me... Oh, are you... Alright, uh... First... Tribes, Plant Species X killed a... Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and start raising your melee damage some more. Now, are you on... You're on neutral. You are... Uh, behavior. You're on passive. Okay. Let's go ahead. I want to keep increasing your health until you get to 1500. And I'm going to want to increase yours as well. Okay. Let's see. How far from shore am I? Far enough. Oh, we just killed the Bronto. The Bronto swam out to us? Ugh. Um, I don't want to uh, know what kind of damage it did to us. I probably could have, should, should have come a little closer to shore before uh, trying to get this, but that's okay. I've got enough stamina by far that I can swim out here. And at least the plant species will kill the Megalodons when I have to do this. All right, what do you have for me? I don't think I need either of those, but I'll I'll take them. Wow, the, the seal that shot way over there and killed that coelacanth. That's interesting. At least I know the uh, things are working. How well they'll do against the lead sick thieves is something we'll end up figuring out. Um, it's too bad you can't, uh, like, save the uh, design of these and then just use the design for, like, and then just have the later pop the design on. But at least our things are doing their job. I mean, they're killing the dinos and such. Now, we're going to want to come around. I'm definitely going to want to set up a dock for this thing. Something that I can pull up to and get out either through the top or through the front or both and uh, Unload my dinos through the front and everything. So I think I might actually end up doing that Either next episode or the episode after that Just setting up a dock over here that I can fit this in We don't want to hit too much of the rocks and such. Okay, now we can head back this direction. And as we pull up here, I'll probably make it so that I can pull it up to the dock like right through here or possibly even further out. But, uh, yeah, so we've got, what are you, is that a, a trilobite? Yeah. Okay, let's get this out of the way. I don't want the, uh, 
I don't want the thing hitting this by accident like it just was. Uh, it wasn't damaging it, it doesn't look like. So that's a good thing. But uh, now we're back at base. I'm going to go ahead and unload, at the very least, my Therizino. And I'm going to unload Petunia. And I'm going to unload Excelsior. But uh, yeah, it's going to be it for this episode. Um, we did quite a bit. We got our dinos we got our let me back up into the light we did quite a bit we got our uh ankylos back there we got uh our, a bunch of loot and stuff so well, we did good um i'm happy with the levels that we came up with that we got the uh 43 and the 31 that they uh tamed out at I'm, I, I wish I could have found one a little bit higher here, but uh, we've, it, it's odd. We found one one higher than my minimum and one lower than my maximum, like than the maximum. So, um, but I'm just going to end up pumping weight on both of them. And uh, let's see, your oxygen was what now? 210 and your oxygen was 180. I might end up using uh, the female as a diving ankylo to go down and get some uh oil but i uh, i'm probably going to end up pumping her oxygen a bit more if i do that so but anyway as i was saying that's going to be it for this episode i hope everybody enjoyed the episode if you did hit the like button for me and if you want to see more arc survival evolved go ahead and subscribe i'm know it all dm and as always Y'all have a good day now.